All right, so we tested positive for COVID. Right. So not we, but Richard went and tested positive for COVID, but I'm pretty sure the whole family had it. Um, the first symptom that he had was fever, like he had a fever. Um, he had night sweats. Um, okay, so it was Christmas Eve. We went out to go see the Christmas lights, and after that, when we got home, um... You know, we was getting ready for bed, and he, he kept saying that he wasn't feeling good. He wasn't feeling good. So we went to sleep in the middle of the night. Like, I put my foot on him, and I noticed that his body was extremely hot. So I took the blankets over. Um, I took the blankets off of him, and I, like, shook him, and I said, Hey, you're extremely hot. Are you okay? Whatever. So then we noticed that he had a fever. He checked his temperature, and I think it was, like, 102. So, um, he went back to, I think he took something, I think he took Tylenol, and he went back to sleep. Um, so Christmas Day, he tried to shake it off, because, you know, it was Sky's first Christmas, so we tried to shake it off and, you know, pretend like he wasn't sick. Um, so in the video, you seen that he wasn't really in the video, um, because he was so sick, like, he couldn't, like, really do anything. Um, he didn't feel good at all. We took a nap after we opened the gifts and I noticed that Sky wasn't feeling good. Um, she had a fever. So I checked her temperature and I noticed that she had a fever. So once that happened, I was like, oh no, like something's up. Um, so I was like, I told him to go get tested because at that time I had no symptoms. I didn't feel bad, I didn't feel anything. Um, so once that happened, I told him that he needed to go get checked for COVID. Um, but since it was Christmas Day, nothing was open, so he made an appointment for the next, at the day after Christmas. So, um, so throughout the whole Christmas Day, I noticed that Sky didn't want to play. She was just, like, laying on me. She didn't want to do anything. She really didn't want to eat. The only thing that she wanted was her milk. Um, she wouldn't eat, like, regular food with us. Um, and Sky loves to eat and she wouldn't do any of that with us. So that was kind of odd to me um, Her fever went away as soon as I gave her the time and all um, It went away within like 30 minutes because I took off layers of her clothes I just left her in a onesie and mind you in Florida right now It's like 54 degrees and we had the heater on but I t like I um, turned the AC off um so um he went to go get checked he said it was it took like an hour and 30 minutes in the line it was like a drive-thru um so he went to go get checked and after waiting an hour and 30 minutes they did the swab in his nose in both nostrils and um they called him within 30 minutes so he didn't answer the first time because he didn't know what number it was but they called again and they were like, hey, you have COVID, make sure you don't do this or make sure you don't do anything. They don't, they don't give out medicine or anything like that. So they just told him to quarantine and try to stay away from people, wear your mask, wash your hands, um, just everything that you already know um, to do. So once he got home, I was on my cycle. So I had like stomach pains. But then that day, I started to get migraines. Um, my head was hurting so bad. It felt like somebody was like punching me right here for a good 30 minutes straight. Um, so that day, the day after Christmas, it was like a very down day for everybody. Sky didn't want to play. Richard was sick. He was like, after his appointment, he just laid down. He told his, like he told his family members and like, he told anybody that, was around us. We wasn't really around anybody because I don't go out. He just goes to work and to the gym. So he had to tell everybody that he came in contact with. Um, and I told my sister because I think that was the only person that I had seen that week. 
So I told my sister and I was just like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Um, we, we, I think we got the Rona, you know, stay away from us, go get checked, make sure you quarantine, wash your hands, blah, blah, blah. Um, so then the second symptom that he caught was diarrhea. So he had diarrhea and so did I. Like, I think that was my second. My first was, my first was a headache, a migraine, and then diarrhea. Him, his was a fever, chills, and diarrhea. Then he had like a headache. So by the fourth day, we lost our appetite. Well, his fourth day, my like second day, he lost appetite. No, he lost his um, sense of smell and um, taste buds. And I also lost my sense of smell and taste buds. So, um, and the reason why I knew of that, um, Sky, you know, she does the number two or whatever. And for, from this day, I think she was asleep and I couldn't smell anything. But then I looked down there and she did the number two. And I, I didn't realize it because I couldn't smell anything. So, um, I we steamed oh so that was like the fourth day for him and the second day for me didn't have taste or smell um what else happened i think that was really it and i felt very weak by the third day i couldn't get out of bed i couldn't do anything anything that required me to like walk anywhere it was like done deal for me like to walk from here to a mailbox was like walking running a mile and no 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 ma'am it was so much work just to get out of bed like you felt hard chest pains everything that you see that they're saying is true guys it is true they're not making this up this is not scripted i'm not getting paid to tell you guys this um we were really sick um just be sure to wear your mask like wear your mask when you go out or try to limit yourself from going places i know we went to arizona we went to um where else did we go to we go to restaurants but we haven't really been going to like clubs or anything like that not saying that um I mean, you could catch it anywhere. You could catch it from touching a doorknob. You could t catch it from washing your hands, like touching the faucet. Um, you can get it from touching your face after you come from the grocery store because it's like common for us to like wipe our hands or like touch our face and touch our eyes if our eyes is itching. Um, so I, we don't know where we got it from. We don't know. There's nobody to blame. I mean, we don't know if it was because it was Christmas um, and everybody was getting ready for the holidays. We were at Walmart. We were shopping at Ross. We were shopping at Burlington. We were at Target. So we went to a lot of different places just shopping for Christmas. Um, so we really don't know when we got it. But I just know that um, Richard felt it first from Christmas Eve and it's real. Like, you guys do not want to go through it at all. I mean, the diarrhea for no reason. I mean, you're not eating because you don't have an appetite. You can't taste anything. So it makes you like lose your appetite. You don't want to eat. You don't want to drink because you don't have energy to go to the fridge to get yourself something to drink. Like... Make sure you guys have a support system because you're going to need it. You're going to need some money that's there for you, that's going to go get you water because you can't get up. But, um, yeah, it is real. Um, now I, I contacted my mom. I let, well, we both let our parents know. And my mom has it now, and she's in the hospital, and my grandma's in the hospital as well. So it's like, it's different for everybody. Um, we were not in the hospital. We didn't go to the hospital. I think I don't think it was that bad for us to want to go to the hospital. Um, but definitely, definitely wear your mask, wash your hands. Um, it's serious. Um, I, I think it's more serious now because it's like, 
people are tired of staying home people are tired of wearing these masks people are tired of you know the fake news um so just be careful out there um and we're so grateful for um our family and friends that came over and helped us well rich's mom she came over and she brought us soup she brought us tea she brought us that's everything that we that's how we treated ourselves um she brought us tea ginger tea ginger and lemons um so we drink that every day and every night we took vitamins vitamin b12 and vitamin c i think and some other vitamins um energy c the little um the packet that you put in your water um what else did we steamed our face um with the ginger lemons and you just steam you have it over the stove you put a towel over your head and you steam your face she helped us with that um so we're forever grateful for that um and for all the family members that checked on us we're forever for grateful for that too um just be careful out there like people are going to the hospital people are dying with this wear your mask i know that it's like it's so like why do i have to wear a mask but y'all don't want to be sick i'd rather wear the mask every day than be sick like how i was sick i was like not feeling good at all but i made sure that i um went outside at least once a day i mean and when i say outside i mean i don't mean where everybody is because in my neighborhood it's like peaceful and quiet nobody's out there and you just walk around i walked around like the neighborhood um, with with the stroller because I had Sky and I made sure that I was motivating myself to take those walks because um, you're really going to need it even if um, even if you're not feeling good just make sure you do like something to keep you going something to keep you like happy because staying inside in the bed will make you sad and it'll, it'll make you more sick um, but be safe, y'all. Be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Comment down below if you or somebody that you know contacted um, the virus. Um, what were your first symptoms? You know, let me know. Um, just be sure to comment down below. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos of me um, just doing the daily daily mother things in the household um i do plan to do a lot more on this channel you will be seeing a lot of me and sky um i am starting school tomorrow so you guys check your girl out um send some inspirational words because i'm nervous to be back in school with a child <laughs> so scared about that but be safe, y'all. Be safe. Wear your mask.